that's the state of play in Australia. Let's throw it over to June in Korea for an update on what's tracking. June, over to you. Good morning, Dan. We are seeing a higher open for the Korean markets. A small jump, I guess, for the Cosby up about three points. The Cosdaq also higher by two tenths of a percent this morning. Uh, we are getting comments from the Bank of Korea Governor Lee ju yeo and he is saying that the Bank of Korea will not be immediately raising Korea's benchmark interest rate just to follow a U.S. Fed rate hike. The Korean won is opening stronger against the dollar at 11.71 per dollar, and overall we are seeing uh, continued gains for the. Korean Korean markets uh, since the Fed rate hike. Uh, the governor Ijeo, is saying that while a extreme after effect that may come from a rate further rate hikes in the U.S. could be one of the reasons, one of the factors that play into a possible rate decision by the Bank of Korea. So far, he is saying that he is he he sees the global economic reaction as stable. So given that the U.S. Fed rate hike is not a one-off situation because there likely will be a continuation of rate hikes, he says that there remains the risk of volatility in the global markets, but Korea, he says, is a little different story at this point. So that's what we're getting in terms of a uh, possible rate decision. Going back to the markets, we are seeing a mixed open for the, uh, the blue chips on the Cosby with names like uh, Samsung CNT and the Samsung Electronics and Hyundai Mobis all going in different directions with Hyundai Mobis down more than 1% at the open and names like SK Telecom higher, one of the best performers today and on the markets. Retailers as a sector are outperforming with this sector up more than 1%. Hana Galleria Time World is up more than 1% with them in the local news today uh, saying that they will be opening its first duty-free store in Seoul next week on Monday, with a complete opening coming up in June of next year. Hana Galleria already has an uh, international license for a duty-free store in Jeju International Airport, but the, Korea, the, Seoul, the Seoul store is one of the, the bigger uh, business areas that they want to uh, invest in going forward. They are expecting more than 50 billion won in sales from its Seoul store next year. Lotte World Tower is one of the two duty-free store licenses that Lotte Group lost at the latest bidding, and this is closing down operations this month. So possibly brands from the Lotte World Tower could be going moving over to Hana Galleria's uh, uh, duty-free store. Lotte Group had lost one of their licenses to Tucson Group, and Shinsege and Shilla and Lotte all have one each uh, in, ter in terms of duty-free stores in Seoul. So this again is a very competitive uh, space in Seoul. A cut for the next year in terms of new business lines for the conglomerate. So I'll be watching for a reaction for all the names involved today. Mm -hmm. Bernie, I think it sounds like a, it sounds like a real three ring circus for shopping there with all this duty free and everything. I have to tell you, my head just spins every time I pass through Incheon. I mean, that place is not an airport. That place is a mega shopping uh, mall with all kinds, you know, I mean, cosmetics everywhere you look. And I'm going like, oh, I'm so glad I'm here spending three hours watching this, you know. Um, so what happens? Uh, is it a big shopping season right now? Is Christmas actually a, 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 an official legal holiday on Friday in South Korea? Because it isn't in Japan, I know. But what about uh, what about Korea, June? It's, it's a, it is a legal, official market holiday. So markets oh. are closed on Friday, and it's a really big deal in terms of, you oh. know, celebrations, shopping. Re, it's, it's like retail mm -hmm. paradise right now, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. I Very should have happy. come over. I didn't realize this, but I, uh, I, I got some data the other day that because of our Hong Kong dollar pegged uh -huh. to the U.S. dollar and the strength of the U.S. dollar, that everything else in Asia is like 40 to 50 percent cheaper than Hong Kong. We don't have a sales tax here, but it's still more expensive because of the strength of the U.S. dollar. I could go to Incheon. I could, I could basically oh, yeah. fly to Incheon and hang out with you and have galbi or bulgogi, you know, really expensive <laughs> stuff, and fly back uh -huh. and do shopping and actually save money over buying the same stuff here in Hong Kong. I didn't realize. I wish somebody would tell me these things before it's too late, you know, because now I have to just say Merry <laughs> Christmas like this. June. Okay. We'll see you later. <laughs> Merry Bye, <June>. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'll Bye. see you tomorrow, though. And later in the show.